I think I have a new favorite movie. I think the Secretariat movie. I uh, I took my daughter to that movie not long ago, and uh, sh she loved it. Being a young girl who's a horse lover, she found it very intriguing. And being a guy involved in athletics who remembers the Triple Crown and remembers that point in history where that horse not only won it, but in the fashion that that horse won those races and how competitive that business is, uh, I, I found that to be a real uh, intriguing movie. You know, my dream job would probably be something that ha would have to do with uh, some rec center somewhere working with kids. You know, I've always found that to be very interesting. And uh, I, I remember as a kid growing up how my father was patient, understanding, and what a good teacher he was. And I always wanted at some point in time in my life to try to emulate that one characteristic of how he treated uh, myself and my three younger brothers. And um, I thought that was something that was real special and would always like to be involved in, in some sort of work that would have to deal with that, that type of thing. If I told you I've never, ever been to a concert, would you believe me? Wow. Never have been. No, but for me, going to my first pro basketball game was probably like that. Yeah. And, uh, and when I was a young kid, there was an exhibition game where Oscar Robertson played against Jerry West, who was a legend in the state of West Virginia where I grew up. And uh, I'll never forget that game. That was uh, really good, and it was just great to see the whole difference in level and that dynamic out there. You know, I'm a big football fan. I love watching football, but um, as much as I follow the college football game and as many of as friends as I have and, and guys I grew up with that are coaching at the collegiate level, I, I think the favorite, my favorite sport, I would have to say is like peewee football. You know, that would be a, a much more entertaining and, and fun for, sport for me to watch just because I see kids learning the game and, and uh, trying to understand the concepts uh, of by, by which the game is played. But at, at that age, it's really fun to see, you know, how that develops in, in, uh, in a game-like environment. Probably Saunders. You know, Damian Saunders would probably be the funniest guy on our team. You know, uh, the interesting thing though is, is, is I don't know that at times he's trying to be funny, but just some of his mannerisms and the things that he does lends itself toward being a little bit comical at times. Okay. Well, you know, I, I do. I, I'm, I'm probably more superstitious than you would think, but uh, the one pregame superstition that I, at, at all of our home games that I do have is, is you know, I, I, I always have to make sure that, you know, I, I see my wife and kids and where they're sitting and make sure I nod at them and they nod back at me. That's always a, a pretty good determining factor of whether we're going to win or lose that game. So that's, that's always been a, a, a big superstition of mine in, in, in terms of the home game.